What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chad here. You know what time of year it is. It's Valentine's Day. It's right around the corner. It's, it's actually only in two days. And if you're anything like me and Amelia over here, you're probably a little bit overwhelmed and you don't know how to make your significant other feel special. But don't worry, because today, Emilio and I, we got 10 last minute Valentine's Day ideas that are sure to make your significant other feel super special. So buckle down, put those romance hats on, and let's get right to it. So for number one, we've got taking a sunset walk or a hike. Just get outdoors, go see that beautiful sunset, get some fresh air, you know? Maybe go somewhere you've never been and just explore together. Number two is cook a special dinner at home. Find out what your partner's favorite meal is, go out there, get the ingredients and cook it at home from scratch just for them. Surprise them with it. I'm sure they would love that. Number three is just to watch some sort of romantic movie or some kind of rom-com, you know, and just have a special movie night together, you and your partner, alone, cuddle up, make some popcorn, eat your favorite snacks, you know, Netflix and chill a bit, you know, there's nothing better than that. Now, number four, I think is a great idea. Go down to Target or your local grocery store or whatever and make a gift basket with some of your partner's favorite things. It could be chocolates, candy, socks, anything that they like. Just get a few items, make a cute little basket and give it to them. It'll make them feel so special and they'll definitely feel thought of. And that's all you could ask for on Valentine's Day. Now, number five is something you can never go wrong with. And that's writing a heartfelt letter or a note to your partner. Now you should just do this anyway, let's be honest. This is the bare minimum, but it is something you can do very last minute. Express to them how you feel, Ex tell them what you're grateful for about them. Maybe recall some funny moments or some funny stories that you guys have had together. Make it cute, go all out with it, you know? Make them feel super special. Now number six is if you're feeling a little bougie, you could book a little spa day, get some massages, do something out of the normal. Or if you can't afford that, do your do it at home, you know? Set up a little table, make them feel like they're at the massage parlor. Give them a nice experience, and then maybe they'll return the favor of giving you a massage. You know what a massage leads to. Seven is for all the people that love their music out there. Create a playlist of meaningful music or meaningful songs that you and your partner have shared memories to or shared experiences with. Go relive those moments. Maybe make it something special, you know? Buy a vinyl or put some records on or the idea is putting the thought in and thinking of those songs and those moments. You could even start talking about those moments. You remember when we were listening to this and this happened, or, you know, this song always reminds me of when we went and did this together. Make it special and have that moment with your partner. Number eight is to go on a scenic drive around your town, you know? Go see something you haven't seen before. Kind of relates back to that first one but just go drive around and spend that time together and really focus in on being in the moment together. Go drive without a destination in mind. Just see where the car takes you or go to your local scenic route or go to a lookout or go do something. But it's just important to make that moment special and centered around just the two of you. Number nine is where we get a little more creative with it. This one is to make a scavenger hunt and with each note, give your significant other a little gift maybe set this up somewhere and say give them a little clue and have the next thing underneath the sink and then they go and find the next clue under the sink and it's another candy or it's a pair of socks or it's some item that your partner likes just make it fun make it something out of the normal make it something that you don't experience every day and 10 this is wild i don't know if i'd ever do this but it might be for some of you out there it's take a dance class or have a little dance party at your house. Put that playlist on, dance around your living room. Maybe go learn how to do the cha-cha. I don't know. You could do anything. Go learn how to salsa. It could be fun. You never know. But there you have it. Those are my 10 last minute Valentine's ideas that are sure to make it special with your significant other. Whether you feel like going all out or keeping it simple, the most important thing you can do is make your significant other feel special make them feel heard, let them know how grateful you are for them, and just be in that moment with them 
and nothing else. Enjoy that time together and realize how grateful you are to even have each other. But that's all I got. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any ideas or anything that you want to suggest, throw it down below in the comments. I really want to know what you're doing for your significant other on Valentine's Day. And as always, the best way you can support me is by smashing that subscribe button. If you do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. Now go out there and make this one for the books.